First of all, coach, uh, thank you for being with us. Um, uh, let me jump straight to the Q&A session. Uh, last summer, you got one of the toughest uh, head coaching uh, jobs, um, considering the highest level of the competition in the EuroLeague um, and also in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, how difficult of a journey was and still is being a head coach of as well? Oh, it's always a tough time to be a coach of uh, one uh, the most <clears throat> team. We got the most titles in France, you know, and, uh, and especially being a Parker and being a brother of the president even makes it even harder, you know. But uh, uh, I always always worked hard for where I am. I was being an assistant for for eight years. And it was the plan with my brother from the beginning to really learn behind coaches before to get the job. So. Now, of course, uh, it came and uh, it was kind of tough because, uh, like you say, with the crisis, COVID-19, it's not, never easy. And we could have saw that since the beginning of the season. Our team got hit, the whole team. Well, so we were out for three weeks. So it's been, uh, it's been challenging. It's been challenging, but, you know, all you can do is do your job and try to win the most games. Uh, however, you managed to win at, in a tough place like uh, Vitoria. Uh, and uh, most recently to, to win against the best team of EuroLeague uh, so far. I'm talking about uh, Barcelona. This is an indication that uh, the potential that your team has, uh, if healthy and without problems, is really high? I think for us, you know, it's to, to do it as well as last year. You know, it's our second year in the EuroLeague. We won 10 games. You know, we want to do 10 wins or even better. After that, you never know. But the, the most important... It's like you, I just told you, it's like, you know, we have to find our rhythm. And then when you show games like we did against Victoria and Barcelona, we can show we can play with, you know, a lot of teams. So after that, we'll see it. And help is the most important. Since uh, you grew up in a basketball family, um, you played pro and you are coaching since uh, 2013. Um, I assume that your knowledge about Greek basketball and uh, Panathinaikos, which is your next opponent, uh, uh, is pretty high. Oh, about Panathinaikos, of course. It's a team I watched since I was young. How can you not know about Panathinaikos in all those years? They won the U League with Coach Obradovic, all the players they have. Diamantidis, even my member, big man Batiste, was there for a lot of years. So, yeah, Panathinaikos, I mean, uh, when you talk about basketball, you know, it's, it's right there on top of every, every U League team. So, it's always been, uh, you know, uh, a team we always watch, everybody watch. Uh, your impression uh, about the team so far? Uh, uh, by judging, you know, how uh, the team played uh, this year without uh, its uh, leader for many years, Nick Kalafis? I think it's, a, it's, it's not easy for them, too, because I think they recruited a point guard as Pierre Jackson, you know, and uh, after that, I think he got injured and then they got Kiefer Sykes and then now they got another one, they got Shevin Max. So I think, you know, that point guard position is really important and I think they still got to find rhythm, you know, and uh, play it together because when you switch players and players and players, it's not easy. But after that, they still got experienced guys, who, you know, Papa Petru, you know, Papa Janis, you know, they're really, really good players. So after that, they're looking, they're looking good. Let me go a little bit uh, personal. How did you deal with the pressure of uh, being the brother of the best basketball, uh, French basketball player of uh, all time and still playing basketball uh, back in the time and now that you're coaching the team that your brother is owning? Tepe. Uh, like I said, you know, um, I, I stopped my career early because of big injuries and uh, I always had a goal. I want to stay in basketball and I wanted to be a coach. And uh, when I was watching him and being around the Spurs environment, you know, that's really something I wanted to do. And uh, after that, of course, you know, being his brother has never been easy as a player or even as a coach, because I know it's a lot of pressure, we have to win and everything, but hey, I have a chance, you know, the, he gave me his chance, he got my trust. After that, it's me, I have to do my job. And um, I'm covering also the NBA for many years. I've been uh, in San Antonio for several times. And um, uh, I remember you, you being around uh, um, the Spurs uh, environment, you know, being around Greg Popovich, uh, having, uh, uh, conversa daily conversations with uh, Ettore Messina at some point, maybe uh, having the chance to, to go for dinner with them. Uh, I would like to ask you, um, as a coach, uh, what, what did you learn you know, from these uh, two great uh, basketball 
uh, minds and uh, which is uh, the element uh, of the game or the biggest advice that you kept from, uh, from them and you are using every day? Well, yeah, for, for me, it was a big, uh, big gift to be around the, the Spurs at that time because for me, it was one of the best basketball, best organization in basketball. Almost, you know, they won a lot of titles. And it's not just it's the way they play, the way that, you know, they, they built a team around Tony, Timmy Duncan and Ginobili in the passing game around. That's the number one thing that make everybody involved. And, you know, the passing game, the point five. That's very logical. Called, you know, so that's what I learned from Coach Pop and all the practices. He's really, really hard and you know you, you know they have a lot of players you have to be ready oh so before i thank you and um, let you go i'd like to ask you if uh, uh, the noise around uh, what happened uh, last summer with mitrovic's uh, dismissal um, has affected uh, yours and uh, your players job uh, this year me i got you know big respect for coach uh, mitrovic you know i mean whatever happened on the side this is this is not my job you know me he accepted me and worked with him, and we won a title together. And uh, I learned some stuff from him. After that, everything else on the side is it's not, not for me.